not all of your stakeholders know what Scrum framework is and what is included. So make sure that for those stakeholders who do not understand Scrum, they're Welcome back to my channel, where we discuss everything related to Agile and Scrum software development. Today's topic is sprint reviews, how to run them, how to prepare for them, and what to discuss in them. And what is the difference between a demo, show and tell, and a sprint review? If you understand Scrum, then you would know that Scrum is based on an empirical process. And in an empirical process, we have three pillars, transparency, inspection, adoption, or adaption. And every single scrum ceremony inherits those three pillars. Sprint review is one of those important scrum ceremonies that also inherits all three of these pillars. And that is really important to the success of the product you're developing. Firstly, what is a sprint review? Sprint review is a ceremony of a scrum where we look at, where we inspect, the software that has been developed so far or the product that has been developed so far and based on the feedback from our stakeholders we might change some of the features or our roadmap for upcoming sprints when setting up a sprint review or any of the scrum ceremonies to be honest with you consistency is a mandatory is a must so make sure that you have set up a recurring meeting for your sprint review that happen on the same day and at the same time, and ideally in the same location. So the stakeholders know by default what time the sprint review is and where to go. Also, as part of this invite, make sure that you have put agenda of what will be discussed in a sprint review. Scrum framework is what is included. So make sure that for those stakeholders who do not understand Scrum, they read the agenda that explains step by step what will be covered in your sprint review. So when they know what will be covered in the sprint review, then they are more likely to come to that meeting. Sprint review is a meeting where we were meant to demo, where we were meant to show this product that has built so far. We should be demoing it directly from the developer's machine. So no PowerPoint slides, nothing like this. So it shouldn't be taking us a lot of time to prepare for our sprint review. Our focus is not on pretty PowerPoint slides, it is about working software and showing those working features to our stakeholders and getting their feedback on that. The most focus should be on showing a working software to our stakeholders. Saying that, especially with, when I'm working with large team, I've seen benefit of spending 15, 20 minutes on the day of sprint review to discuss with the team what features we are going to demo what features we're going to show to our stakeholders. And 15, maximum 20 minutes that day before our sprint review, quickly getting our eggs in the room. Some guide says that you should show rough and ready. It doesn't talk about this 15, 20 minutes prep meeting beforehand. But for some teams, I've seen that beneficial. So if you have a really large team, you might want to try and experiment with it. But it's not mandatory and you might not see any benefit of it. So how do you run your sprint review? Your sprint review should be opened by either the Scrum Master or product owner. You welcome everyone in to the meeting. During the welcome, when we are saying welcome to everyone for everyone to come into our sprint review, if there are any changes to the team structure. So if we have got a new person who has joined our Scrum team, we can welcome them. We can introduce that person to the, our stakeholders. And if unfortunately someone is leaving the team, we can mention that there as well. And as stakeholders and everyone, we can together say thank you to them. And then you pass that over to the product owner. And the product owner is there. He's going to talk about what our sprint objectives were, what we set out in our sprint planning to achieve in this sprint. And then we pass that over to each of the developers who is going to go and demo a working feature. And at the end of each demo, we can ask stakeholders for the feedback. We can talk about any changes that they suggest. And if they have any suggestions, we can talk about that. In some suggestion, we might decide to implement in the next sprint. 
or in future. In others, we might say that no, we do not want to implement those. But make sure that we give chance for our stakeholders to provide us feedback on what we have developed so far. And after all of the sprint demos have been completed, then we pass back to this product owner who is going to discuss what our roadmap for remaining product is, what we are planning on working on in next sprint, and adjust our priorities if required. Especially if the team is working on a project that is data science related or quite a lot of math, then sprint demos become slightly trickier and very boring. So to bring engagement to our stakeholders, then we like to make a slight change. When you are going to present some figures and numbers to your stakeholders, then we like to do is story tell. Tell a story to your stakeholders. Take example of a typical user and say how these numbers would affect them in their life. So if you're looking at the performance of the platform, then you can say when a user comes into it, before where it used to take them two minutes, now it's going to take them 30 seconds. This is going to bring this improvement to their life. Other things that we generally do discuss in our sprint reviews are our sprint velocity, our roadmap, and how we are progressing, any feedback we have from our customers, our end users, especially if we got any Google Analytics, those sort of things, then we want to share those with our stakeholders as well. Make sure that we make this meeting engaging for our stakeholders. And these days, most of sprint reviews are done online via Zoom or Microsoft Teams, then you should always record this meeting and share the link to all of the stakeholders who have been unable to attend this meeting so that they can catch up on this if they want to. I always like to run surveys on a regular basis on, at the end of my sprint reviews with the stakeholders, getting them to suggest us improvements in our sprint reviews, what sort of thing they want to see from us and how we can improve them. But make sure you thank your stakeholders for attending the sprint review and also take on board their feedback. If they see that no matter what feedback you, they give to you, if you keep on ignoring their feedback, they will stop attending the sprint review. Make sure they are engaging. All of the feedback you take on board. And if you're not going to action upon them, tell them this feedback does not align with our product goal. But be open, be transparent with them. And tell them the benefit that is bringing to the team as well of the sprint review. How their feedback is encouraging this Scrum team to build a robust product. I hope this short video has given you some ideas of how to run a sprint review. There is going to be a separate video coming up on my channel on how we can get our stakeholders to engage in our sprint reviews, how we can encourage them to attend our sprint reviews. And that is more about our stakeholder engagement and how we can encourage them to come into our come in and attend our sprint reviews. So keep your eye out for that. Till then, thank you very much for making it so far into my video. And if you have liked this video, please do not forget to press the like button, share and subscribe.